I'm home court, she's standing trial. Why ain't I see you round by when How did Puffy come to conveniently, you know, be associated with Southside? I mean, he's from New York and you know, how is it out of all the sets mm -hmm. in L.A., you just conveniently right. become associated and affiliated with, you know, Suge's primary rival right. neighborhood? Like, was that on purpose or just by chance? It was by chance, and uh, supposedly, uh, allegedly, it was through Zip Martin. Okay. Zip Martin already had a, bi a business relationship with the Southside Crips. Mm -hmm. And the, the back at that time, uh, cocaine especially, mm -hmm. from West Coast to the East Coast, you could double your money of course. on a kilo. Mm -hmm. You could buy it here for like twelve or 13000 and sell mm -hmm. it over in New York for twenty five. Right. So that's what was happening. Okay. And so I, I, I believe what it was was Zip was involved in a, a, you know, a East Coast, West Coast drug trafficking ah. situation with the Crips. And that's where I think it became, well, I just happen to know guys out there because i think kind of what happened was suge in, in essence kind of pulled bad boy's card for the mm -hmm. west coast after mm -hmm. tupac got killed mm -hmm. you can't come out here anymore right and right. or even before that um back when jake robles was murdered mm -hmm. that started up and so you can't run a, a hip-hop label and not be able to come to la right right well you know so he had to be able to find a way to come out here and so i think that's so puffy elected to you know let's align ourselves with these street guys you know uh with zip and then through Zip came Keefe? Yeah, Zip and Keefe were the ones that had the relationship. And Keefe claims that Zip would just kind of roll into the neighborhood and say, hey, come on, we're going to the mm -hmm. Anaheim or San Diego or wherever. Mm -hmm. And Keefe would round up 30 guys and they'd all get tickets. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was a nice perk for all of them and they'd go down there. And the point of that was supposedly was that y you have uh, your professional security you could have, you know, the best Navy SEALs in the world. Mm -hmm. They're not going to recognize a gang member from Compton. Right. Not from the neighborhood. Right. So I think the idea was to have this extra layer of mm -hmm. guys there, what, what Reggie Wright called homeboy security, mm -hmm. that can say, keep an eye on those 10 guys in the crowd. Mm -hmm. Those guys are not here mm -hmm. for good intentions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.